What really happened during the Banco Central robbery? The Banco Central burglary was one of the biggest thefts of all time, consisting in the theft of around 160 million Brazilian reals from the vault of the Banco Central branch in Fortaleza back in 2005. What really happened during that day? And how did the burglars make it out of the vault? Welcome to our channel, and today we'll be taking a look at what really happened during the Banco Central robbery. Stay until the end of our video to learn all the secret facts about this incredible robbery. And also subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on for more great videos like today. Without further ado, let's begin with the background of this robbery. Three months before the Banco Central robbery, the criminals involved in it had rented a commercial property in the center of the city. As with many other complex bank thefts, this was planned with a lot of time in advance. The criminals had tunneled around 78 meters beneath. The gang had planned to renovate the property and had also put up a forged sign that claimed they were a landscaping company that was selling natural and artificial grass as well as plants. The neighbors estimated that the gang consisted of between six and 10 men, described how they had seen van loads of soil being removed daily, but understood this to be a normal activity of the business. They dug a tunnel that was around 70 centimeters square and also running four meters beneath the surface. It had been adorned with wood and plastic and even had its own lighting and air circulating systems. Then they set to wait a few months before executing their master plan. It wasn't until Saturday, August 2nd, 2005, when the burglars tunneled into the bank and even removed five containers of 50 real notes. All of these had an estimated value of maybe 164,755,150 real, which was around $71.6 million at the time. These notes weighed around 3.5 tons, and the money was uninsured on top of that. The burglars went through the tunnel to evade the bank's internal alarms and sensors, and the burglary remained mostly undiscovered until the bank opened for business the next Monday. Since this was the central bank, the money had to be examined in order to determine whether it should be recirculated or destroyed. Since the bills weren't even numbered sequentially, they were impossible to trace at the time too. While most of this money has not been recovered, the Brazilian Federal Police proceeded to investigate the suspects with a possible connection between the burglars and a bunch of car resellers who seemed to show out of nowhere in Fortaleza. On August 10, 2005, the military police of Minas Gerais arrested two men driving a car carrying truck in Sete Lagoas near Belo Horizonte, Minas Gerais, more than 2.13 million real was recovered in three pickup trucks being transported. Later, five men were arrested on September 28, 2005, with around 5.22 real in money, and even confessed that they had helped dig the tunnel and were also a part of the robbery. 18 suspects remained at large, and the prosecutors claimed that the group had tried to unsuccessfully charter a small plane days before the robbery to escape the country. Five men allegedly involved in the incident were arrested with about $5.4 million of the stolen cash on September 28, 2005. The ringleader, Jusivan Antonio Alves dos Santos, was sentenced to 80 years in prison. Next, the body of another of the masterminds, Luis Fernando Ribeiro, was eventually found on a road near Camanducaya, 200 miles west of Rio de Janeiro, and had been shot seven times. Turns out that being part of a robbery puts you in quite a lot of danger, even after it's over. Eventually, another suspect, Evandro José das Neves, was found at a favela, a low-income slum in Sao Paulo. Of all the money stolen, only 20 million reals have been recovered. Where could all this money have gone to? It seems like we'll never find out at this point. So, what do you think of the intriguing Banco Central burglary at Fortaleza? Are you impressed by the efforts taken by these thieves to achieve the robbery? Let us know in the comments. Also, make sure to leave us a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to our channel and turn notifications on for more great videos like today. We hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time.